I think it's going to be good, Doug. I, I really like the new format. I think playing each quarter as a game, um, you know, they're going to give us two timeouts in every quarter. So, so I think I think the last few minutes of each thing, we'll we'll be calling timeouts, advancing, you know, trying to win those quarters. You know, and the, the money, the prize money goes to charity. I think that'll. I think that'll make it really interesting. I know, I know I'm really excited about it. I love coaching end of game scenarios. Almost feels like the way we set up practice. You know what I mean? You'll do one and then you'll clear it and go back to zero and do it again. And, and um, I think that's a really good idea and I'm excited for it. It's the old, old uh, CBA days way back. They used to play quarter points, you know, and then they give you so much for the win as well. And I thought it made the games interesting back then and I'm sure it'll make tomorrow's interesting. All right, Doug, good to see you. Not that I know, I'm just trying to get everybody healthy. The guys that weren't playing before the break, hopefully we'll be back. Mark will be back. I think Norm, Norm's close. I don't know exactly, but Mark will be ready to go. So uh, two. Wednesday night. It's okay. Hi. How are you? Yeah, sure. Sure. I just want to know how Well, it, it's a, it's a, it's a big honor, right, to be here. I think um, what, what's, what's cool for me is to be able to share it with the staff, share it with friends and family. Um, you know, you're here in the basketball center of the world right now, which is. Again, it's an honor to be here, and I don't think it comes around every day in your coaching career that you get to do stuff like this. So we're, we're happy to be here, and we're trying to enjoy it. So, so go ahead, Phil, and we got plenty of room, so come behind me. As you can see, they all have on the red Yeah, um, Yeah, I was, uh, I had a sister who lived right downtown in Michigan for 20 years, and I spent a lot of time with her here, so. Um, you can see that lady right now. I don't know, it's one of my favorite cities in the world. It's close to home. Um, my father lived here for a while as well when he was when he was stationed here uh, with the Navy. Um, it's a pretty cool one to be a part of for me. My, my family drove in from Iowa, uh, so it's great. Yeah. Yeah, just try to relax and enjoy it. Really take as much in as you can. Um, Try to try to give so other people some, some cool experiences, um, and then when we get to the basketball, which will be at some point, we'll, we'll focus in and, and try to figure out the, the best groups together and put on the best show we can. We're going to hand hey, that's right. Head up on the Clippers. What's that going on? What's up, bro? We have tons of prizes to give away, so it's time for some well, um, fire trivia. It's not. It's not. Um, it's, 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 it took so long, I guess, a little bit because it's it's hard to sustain it in an NBA game because the players are so good, right? The shooting's so good, and, and the rules make it a little tricky, too. So, I mean, I think it just, um, yeah, I, I think it's more of this. I think the game offensively has changed so radically in the last five years that the defense probably had to change, too, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The, the, their switching from a few years ago, I think everybody picked up on that, and that's pretty common, right? And I think it's uh, it certainly makes playing pick and roll basketball a lot harder. You know, if if you if you have the guys that can kind of switch and keep the ball in front or big enough to handle the post ups inside. Um, but yeah, I think that was probably the first step towards even some of the zone as well. No way. <laughs> never say never, but I doubt it. You never know. You never know. Yeah. 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 Well, it's really hard, right? Uh, we haven't seen him yet this year, so. But it's hard because there there doesn't. Well, I haven't been able to figure out exactly who to match up or. What, what's what's better to take away is outside or is inside yet, right? And, then, and if you put more than one guy on him, he'll kill you with the pass too. So he's one of those guys that 
very, very difficult to match up with, and you gotta, you gotta just do the best you can. Just awesome. It's awesome, man. I think it's, uh, I think it's what really makes us unique, right? Is that uh, the love of the game, the spread of the game world worldwide is is. Uh, it's amazing to see, and it should be that way. I think, I think uh, you know, whenever we're out, either as the Toronto Raptors playing in another country or with the national team of Canada, it's it's just amazing to see how many great basketball fans there are all across the world. Yeah. Hang on a second. Yep. Well, first of all, yes, we're going to miss him. Um, I love Sergio and respect his... Uh, well, he's, he's part of our staff that really makes our staff really unique and complete, right? He's a great basketball mind, uh, love his demeanor, composure, intelligence. Uh, he's really, really important to what I do. I, I, uh, I would hate to think of not having him there by my side, to, you know, for games. Um, and saying that for this weekend, obviously he's got his commitments oh, to Spain, yeah. and, and we are we are really proud of that too, right? We 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 embrace that completely. That he gets to coach the Spanish team. Obviously, we got Mark as part of that as well in the summer. So um, we think it gives us a really unique guy in Sergio to have as part of our coaching staff. Now, now his injury and Mark coaching injury. How important is Mark for the defense? Sure. Well, listen, I think I think Mark is as, as good as it comes at his position, really, right? Offense, defense, winning, leadership, toughness, everything. The good news is, is he's okay now. He's, uh, he's healthy. He'll be back, ready to play. Um, he just gives us so much versatility, both ends of the floor. You know, we can... We can rely on him to captain our defense. He'll, he'll guard anybody one-on-one -on, -one on the post. He'll uh, direct traffic to the other guys. He's good at blitzing on the perimeter. Um, and on offense, I always say that sometimes we just throw the mark, the ball, and start cutting, right? And start cutting whenever the, whenever the offense breaks down, we give it to Mark and start cutting, and he can he can make it start going again. Um, well, I did, I, my assistants did it last night, right? I did get to see him at practice uh, yesterday. Um, I'll tell you what, coaching against him is really hard. I know that much. We had a hard, we had a hard time with him. Uh, we only played him once because he was out the other time, but uh, I think he made over 20 trips to the free throw line the night we guarded him. So we were trying hard to guard him, but we weren't doing it very well. Hey there, NBA fans. For exclusive NBA content, subscribe to Fanatics View YouTube down below.